all in this video on mathematical economic series we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother on telegram channel regarding finding the equilibrium saving and consumption function the question is like this given the consumption function uh, c is equal to 20 uh, 20 plus 0.8 y subscript d where c is the consumption function and y subscript d is disposable income investment is given as 50 government expenditure is given as 20 also a uh, disposable uh, income is given by this very relation that is y minus tn where y is the income and tn is the total tax and total tax is given by the relationship that is total tax is equal to tx that is lump sum tax minus uh, t bar uh, r that is the government transfer okay and here uh, tr is equal to zero that is there is no government transfer here and also our lump sum tax is given as 10 we have to find the equilibrium saving and consumption function okay here it is being given i is investment uh, y subscript d is a uh, disposable income tn is the total tax and tx bar is lump sum tax and tr bar is equal is a government transfer the options are given as s is equal to 70 or c is equal to 340 similarly uh, savings is uh, 60 and consumption is 340 and another option is given as s is equal to 80 and c is equal to 330 and last option is given as savings is equal to 60 and c is equal to that's consumption is equal to 350 okay let's try to solve this out okay so let's see what we are being given here we are being given here consumption function is equal to 20 plus 0 0.8 y subscript d okay we are being given investment is equal to 50 uh, government expenditure is given as 20 okay also the lump sum tax is given as 10 okay let me write it like this now what uh, is the, our uh, output equation we know that uh, total income or total of output is equal to c that's consumption plus investment plus government expenditure okay and what is consumption here consumption function is given by this very relationship that is 20 plus 0 0.8 y subscript d okay uh, plus we have the investment of 50 so i will write here 50 plus government expenditure of 20 okay now let's try to solve this out so we have here 20 plus 0 0.8 it is actually the marginal propensity to consume now yd y, yd is given by this way relationship that is uh, disposable income is equal to our income and when we subtract the total tax from our income we get the disposable income okay and if we try to solve this out here okay that means y minus now tn is equal to tn is equal to tx minus tr so i will write here tx minus tr okay where tx is that uh, tx is uh, the total tax okay minus uh, tr that is the government transfer actually it is the lump sum tax so i forgot to draw the bar here and we are being given here their tr that is uh, let me write here t subscript or sorry t bar r is equal to zero that means there is no government transfer that means we have y minus we have t subscript x that is our lump sum tax minus in place of t uh, uh, bar r it is equal to zero okay because it is being given here tr is equal to zero that means we have y minus t x that is our disposable income okay so when we subtract uh, the lump sum tax from our income we get the disposable income okay and here we can see it is equal to y minus uh, t bar x uh, its value is given as lump sum tax is 10 that means in place of y d we can write this so in place of y d i will write y minus 10 so let me write here y minus 10 okay plus we have 50 and we have 20 here okay 
or uh, we will try to solve it for y that means y is equal to 20 plus this is 0.8 y and we have 0.8 into 10 so what is 0.8 8 upon 10 into 10 so 10 and 10 will get will get cancel so we are left with a minus 8 here okay we have plus 50 plus 20 okay now let's solve it for y for that we need to transpose this uh, term to lhs it will get subtracted so here it is plus when transposing it will become minus 0.8 y is equal to now we have 20 so let me write it first we have 20 minus 8 plus 50 plus 20 okay now if we factor out y we are left with 1 minus 0 0.8 is equal to now 20 plus 20 is 40 40 plus uh, 50 is 90 now 90 minus 8 90 minus 8 what is 90 minus 8 uh, it is 82 so let me uh, do the calculation again 50 plus 20 is 70 70 plus uh, 20 is 90 90 minus 8 is 82 so here we have 82 okay so let me write it here now we have 1 minus 0.8 is equal to 0 0.2 so i will write 0 0.2 y is equal to 82 okay or this can be written like this 2 upon 10 y is equal to 82 or y is equal to 82 if we transpose this term it will get reciprocated here so it will become 10 upon 2 10 upon 2 is 2 1s are 2 5s are 10 that is 5 2s are 10 5 8s are 40 41 so we have the equilibrium level of income will be 410 but we have to find the equilibrium level of savings and consumption okay now if y is equal to 410 we can find the consumption function first okay so what is our consumption c is equal to which is given us here 20 plus 0.8 and we have y subscript d that is disposable income so we have y d and we have seen that c is equal to let me write it first 0 0.8 at uh, this y subscript d we have calculated it came out to be y minus 10 okay so this is y minus 10 now just plug the value of y is equal to 410 in this uh, to get the value of consumption that is we have 20 plus 0 0.8 0 0.8 in place of y we have 410 410 minus 10 or c is equal to 20 plus 0 0.8 410 minus 10 is equal to 400 so write me let me write here 400 or c is equal to 20 plus 0.8 can be written as 8 upon 10 into 400 okay now this 0 and 0 will get cancelled so we are left with a 0 8 4 are 32 that means our equilibrium level of consumption will be equal to 320 okay now let me see this is uh, 8 0 are 0 8 4 are 32 and we have this 20 i forgot to write it here so we have plus 20 it becomes um 3 40 okay so our equilibrium level of consumption will be 340 okay so we got the value of consumption now we need to find the savings okay and for that we know that uh, savings as uh, savings is a function of income okay you know that savings depends upon the level of income okay the more income the more savings okay and we know that our income income can either be consumed or saved okay now if we solve this for s we can write f is equal to if we transpose this here it will become y minus c okay now let's use this very function here that means our s will be equal to what is our equilibrium level of income that has came out to be 410 and from that we subtract the equilibrium level of consumption that is 340 okay and s is equal to so we have 0 minus 0 is 0 11 
11 minus 4 is 7 okay and 3 minus 3 is 0 okay that means our equilibrium level of savings will be 70 and equilibrium level of consumption will be 340 okay that means this option will be correct option okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you and one thing uh, is to be seen here we are being given the lump sum tax okay it is not the proportional tax here so uh, we have to just subtract the lump sum tax here so it is not the function of income here okay if you like these videos please share and subscribe this is the only motivation for me to keep up okay otherwise i don't have any incentive to go on and one thing i want to clear here that i am just a student of uh, economics in that capacity there can be some mistakes in my videos if you can point out them i will really appreciate uh, to rectify myself okay so uh, let us uh, understand that i have my own constraints okay thank you